In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve for mass through calorimetry. Specifically, we're going to look at how to solve for the mass of a metal using the calorimetry approach. So we know that this is going to be a calorimetry question because you have water that says it's initially at 20 degrees Celsius mixed with an unknown mass of iron initially at 500 degrees Celsius. So what should happen, what we would expect, is that the iron is going to release energy and the water is going to gain the energy that the iron releases. So if that's true, we can say that negative Q is of the metal, in this case it's iron, so Fe, is equal to positive Q of water. So whatever heat is lost by iron is going to be gained by the water. Now, it looks like we want to know what is the mass of the iron. So when we think about our equation, we're going to have it as negative m, and that's going to stay the variable. The specific heat of iron, C, times the final temperature, Tf, minus the initial temperature, Ti, also known as delta T, is equal to mass for water times the heat capacity for water times the final temperature of water minus the initial temperature of water. So we're going to go and take a minute and plug in all of the variables that the question is offering us and then we're going to work backwards to solve for the specific heat, I'm sorry, the uh, mass of iron. So without Further ado, let's get started. We're going to keep it as negative m times the specific heat capacity of 0.444 joules over grams degrees Celsius times the final temperature of water. So it says the system has a temperature of 42 degrees Celsius, which means water and iron make up the system, so they're both at 42 degrees Celsius as their final temperature, minus the initial temperature which uh, iron was initially at 500 degrees Celsius, is equal to the mass of water, 240 grams, times the heat capacity of water, that's 4.184 joules over grams degrees Celsius. Although it's not given in the question, you will certainly want to remember that. Then the final temperature of water is 42 degrees Celsius, while the initial temperature is 20. So... We're going to combine as many like terms as we can in our equation. So we're going to bring down negative m, and we're going to multiply 42 minus 500, that's negative 458, times 0.44, and you'll get negative 203.352, and you can cancel out the degree Celsius units, so now you're in joules over grams which is equal to, we can combine all of these terms, so 240 times 4.184 times 22, all of those were like terms on the right side of the equation, so we knew that we could combine all of them. So we get 22,091.52, the grams are going to cancel, the degrees Celsius are going to cancel, and we are going to be left with joules. So, the last step would be to divide out negative 203.352 joules over grams so that we can cancel that. We're going to do the same thing over here, negative 203.352 joules over grams. That allows you to cancel out joules, so you're left with negative m is equal to negative uh, 203.352, so we're going to get negative 4 thousand four hundred and seventy three point seven remember we can't leave it as a negative variable so we're gonna flip the sign over and make it positive M and in doing so we're also gonna change this to positive so it's gonna be four thousand four hundred and seventy three point seven grams that would have been the starting mass of our iron sample